Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, we have three more codes that have been found for the game, giving us some more rewards. And I want to do a few more summons to get myself to 400 accumulated as free to play in just, a, like, at the time of recording this, we're still under a full week's played and we've done 400 summons free to play plus some diamonds saved, which isn't too bad. Uh, so we're going to do that, see how we go. And then I want to do a little bit of a progression push as well. So the first thing we're going to do is the codes, obviously. We go over to settings, others, we go to promo code. So there's three other ones. Once again, this is just continuing that uh, that system of having just nice small codes to continuously give us more stuff. All to do with promos with different, uh, I, I don't know, di different promos they've done and sponsorships, I'm guessing is what it is. Uh, we got 100, we got 200, so we're up to 300 diamonds from these ones already. And then the last one is this one. So go ahead and get yourself an extra 400 diamonds. Not too bad. Once again, they, there are a ton of them. As they keep rolling in, I will keep letting you guys know about these codes. I'm hoping soon we can get like a nice little 10 pull code or something like that. Maybe if they like, I don't know, hit a download limit or something like that. I don't know, just copium. I just want more free summons essentially. But hey, it is what it is. So those are the codes. But like I said, if we jump over here on my account, if we go to this one here, you can see here, we are at 389 out of 400 summons to go ahead and unlock the Stargazer. So I want to pop my 11 summons, see, see if we can get anything. Uh, where are we here? So we, we are, we're, we're 30 more until the pity. I don't have any other summons anywhere else. So we're just going to be cheeky and we're going to pop it, use a couple diamonds to get these out of the way and get ourselves up to that 400 summon mark. And that will unlock the Stargazer for us. But the big thing about that is it does unlock extra in the shop as as well so we can start buying them so let's go ahead let's do a single first so we don't have to buy a 300 summon so let's do a single and then we'll do the 10 pull and buy the extras at a 270 cost each this happens to be something good i'm gonna go crazy but yeah obviously it wasn't all right all right let's go back 10 pull and i feel like that's pretty decent income getting 400 summons in a week plus plus how many plus how many have i got saved up uh, three, six, nine, twelve. Let's, let's call it like four hundred, like uh, sorry, forty summons. We'll, we'll round it down and call it forty summons saved up. So we'll. That's not too bad. 440 summons in a week played. I think it's pretty reasonable considering the game is fresh. Yes, AFK Arena, you can get like 500 summons in a day, but that game is much more advanced and inflated with high rarities of heroes that come from different sources and stuff like that. I think this is pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's pop this. Ten pull. Dude, I, I, I'm not beating pities at the moment. I'm not beating pities. Just just struggling to beat them pities. Oh, dude, once again, when I play while well, I'm not recording, I turn the volume off, but let's turn the volume on now. Uh, let's go ahead and crank that up a little bit. My headset fell off. Oh, rip. Too loud. Too loud. Give me a sec. Let's adjust these volumes. Right, that's a bit more reasonable on the volume. All right. What else we got? Dude, I'm getting tons of Damien's. Damien's and Viperians, I'm swimming in. Also getting a fair few Neuros, which I don't really want. Give me an Odie. Give me an Odie. Come on, game. You can do it. Give me an Odie. Ooh, we, we got the times 30. Okay, that's what we got. Honestly, I don't mind seeing the times 30. And it's a Graveborn, which is honestly good for me. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we get the times 30 as one of our purples. Not too bad. Okay, so now it's throwing the pop-up packs because we've reached the achievement and unlocked the Stargazer. Uh, dude, I want Dolly as a playable character. I've been uh, like, she's been in the game for like, well, AFK Arena for so long, and I just want her. Uh, sweet. So now we can do it. This is gonna be my bet. You know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to, to stargazing. I, I want to make a whole video talking about it. I want to write some down some notes, um, some key talking points before I go rambling uh, about the stargazer. But hey. We've unlocked the Stargazer, 400 summons, not too bad. Let's go over here and let's see. So now we can pick up our monthly purchases of these, uh, which is definitely something I'm going to pick up. I'm going to go ahead and just splurge and grab that. You can get six of them, ain't too bad. Uh, and then we can get some here at a discount as well. So I'll take two more of them at the discount. Thank you very much. I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and purchase these as well. But as you can see, they cost 620, whereas I'd rather save 
and just pick up each month these plus these. And if I figure I've got enough for the month to buy those two in the next month, the discounted ones, then I might splurge a bit. But I'm not going to burn 620 when I've only got 930 left over and I've got all that extra left to spend. So that's sort of where I'm at on that sense. But hey, we unlocked it. That's pretty solid. I think I've got I got an extra one from the guild, uh, the guild chest. So we're already up to nine stargazer pools. Not too bad for just having unlocked it. I will take it. I will take it. All right. Let's jump in and let's see if we can do a little bit of a push. So we're over in this zone here. So to get through this one, we need to clear 395. 395 is where we get got to get to. After I cleared 350, I just autoed and then failed on this stage. So let's let's actually set up a team and see if we go. Actually, where am I with Okay, Hero Essence, I do need a bit more. I do need a bit more. What do we need? 1200. Do I use my my quick rewards? Uh you know what I might do? We'll do a little push and then I'll claim my daily quests and that might get me everyone over 90. Uh, and that should be pretty sweet. Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, I mean, we can probably just leave it like that. I don't see this as being a bad formation. Uh, maybe we go the wave one. We just unlock these. So let's, let's see how this goes. Good healing on Thorin. There's one ult. That's, that's three ult. Four ult. Okay, there we go. Get the wave. Okay, yeah, we're pretty safe here. I I don't know how we failed that on auto, but we we did we did when I did the uh, auto re auto next stage. Wow. All right, sweet. Now I've been really liking this team. I I think Coco is just so clutch. Um, and if I had Smokey, I'd be using Smokey. I just unfortunately don't have myself a bloody Smokey yet, which is absolutely killing me. Um, but let's see how we go here. This may be a stage where I bring. The, this may be a stage where I bring um, sort of like this to get them away from Smokey. What am I trying to say? I'm just rambling. This might be a stage where I bring um, Bala to stop Muriel because if Muriel ults, we're dead. Okay, we've got them out of range of the Smokey, which is good. Generating that energy, good. Yeah, that's not so good. Hmm. Dude, I, I, I just want myself a smoky, guys. It's killing me. <laughs> you guys are probably getting sick of me saying it, but dude, it's killing me. Let's just try it like that. Don't kill Coco. Please don't kill Coco. Dude, how is Coco getting melted so quick? Oh, it's Valen. Oh, dude, I hate Valen. Um, how else can I deal with that? Let's try slapping you in. I like that. Let's see how this goes. Let's see, so we're getting a boost. Valen's almost dead. Please die, Valen. Yes, okay, we got him down. We got him down. Nice. Nice. We have that disruption going. I'm just changing the battery in my headset while we go because my battery just died. Yeah, Tamesia or however the, I can't the, I can't even remember how you spell her name, let alone say it. But the horse riding chick, I do like her for a bit of disruption. I, I think she's quite nice. I've, I've been thoroughly enjoying her. Literally just been using her because I I, I RG'd into the copies of her off my uh, wish list. But she has been d doing a little bit of work. All right, next stage, let's go. All right, we've got once again we've got Valen. Uh, the like is a bit annoying. Um. The Leica angles, I can't remember the angles they work, but I don't think they'd go on this diagonal. So I think with Leica, I kind of want to corner myself over here. And I think that's going to be my best positioning. So let's try this. Mm, Valen's going to wipe me here. Oh no, we got, we got him controlled. Okay, okay, good. That means we're not going to get absolutely one tapped by Valen's ult. The damage will come in though. I don't think we're going to get through this one, but let's just see. We did avoid the bulk of that Lyca damage. Honestly, I feel like that wasn't, like it looked horrible at the end, but I feel like with a tiny bit of different RNG, it could have been a lot better. Uh, sometimes just shifting her positioning can work. Let's see if this goes. 
Actually, I might take, get her to take a little bit of aggro from the start of the battle so that we don't get into that, that pickle situation because there, Valen gets free reign and he just one-taps me. Okay, I think we can work someone out on this. I reckon we'll get this one. All right, let's go with... Uh, do we just do the Antandra thing? I think we just do the Antandra thing. Because then Thorin can die. No, 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 no. Don't kill Coco. Don't, why, why would you run to Coco from there? Dude. Okay, I need to move Coco. So once I move Coco, we should be good. So if I move Coco to here, move you to there, move you to there, you to there. I think this is okay. Because that way we should hold the aggro from Valent. Dude, why, why is Valent bypassing everything? Oh, because he can't path on Thorin's dead body. Dude, my first formation is still the best. He can't path on Thorin's dead body. That's the problem I have. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move Antandra. She is there. Let's do this. Let's do split damage from the start. I mean, Valen's going to engage on Thorin anyway because Antandra's slow, but this way we keep him engaged longer. If we get a potion on Thorin, that'd be clutch because we're probably... Dude, that damn Valen. I hate the guy so much. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to ignore the Valen because um, I was trying to kill him first. We're going we're gonna to group this side. We're going to group this side. We're going to ignore the Valen. Uh, and that way, we shouldn't be giving him as much energy. Actually, I've got to move my Antandra as well. That might make a difference. But Antandra should live and sort of distract him. He got caught in that group, which is good. We've got the buff, which is good. So as you can see, like, you see how long it's taken that Valen to get his ult? And then he used it up there. Unfortunately, we are in the path of Lycan now because of this formation, which is the one thing. Can Coco get an ult? Please, Coco. Please, Coco. Dude! Dude, Coco was so close to that ult. I think we'll get it. We'll do one more try on camera, then I'll do it off camera, and I, I think we'll get it. I think we will get this one. I might even be able to put Lucius in, but that's still no faction bonus. My problem is faction bonus not having a Smokey. Try, trying, to, trying to land a faction bonus with no Smokey is just like an absolute pain in the ass. Uh, dude, the Valen... Ugh, all right. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple tries of this off camera and hopefully we can come back and get it. Okay, so I ended up doing too many tries. I used every try I had and got put on the stupid 40 minute cooldown thing that they have that needs to be removed from the game. My mum should be the only one telling me to stop playing games. It's so annoying when you fail so many times. It's like no, have a break for 40 minutes and think about it what you've done and just get better. So in that 40 minutes of waiting. I've gotten better because I got enough hero essence to level up my last character beyond 90. So hopefully this gets us across the board or I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, we can supplement that with that. Yep. Okay. So we're 95. So we, we, got, we got 95 resonance. I feel like we're pretty good. I feel like we should be good. We like If we can't get this, I, I, I might just have to quit. Uh, just, just give it up and uh, accept that I suck. Now, when I was testing, I got to this formation using the, the flame uh, artifact, and I got so close. I was like one basic attack away from killing the Lyca, who was the last character with my Cecilia. So let's see if we can get on it this time. Let's see. I'm curious. Okay, yep, yeah, this is pretty standard. Okay, this is where I might have to manual it. So we don't hit the Lyca with our ult, and that's massively costly because then the Lyca does that, and then we just die with everyone. Oh, dude, yeah. So I might, I might have to, I might have to one speed manual this. I might have to one speed manual uh, when we get closer to Cece's ult. So after round pops, I'm gonna put it there, uh, and then I'm gonna go you. Yes, and then I'm going to use Cecilia and try and hit Lyca. Okay, Thorin. Uh, let's go that that direction. And then Cecilia. I need Cecilia. Please, 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 please. Okay, so now I want to hit Lyca. So we're going to hit there and we'll leave Kruger. I think that's the play. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Unfortunately, in that positioning, I am going to attack the uh, the cart, which is probably the worst option. Actually, it does go away. The, okay, so the cart explodes on us. Dude. Dude, I, I did this stage is just toxic to me. Alright, let's try let's try this one. Um actually let's just move her up one. If it puts me on another 40 minute cooldown, I'm gonna rage. I'm actually gonna rage. 
All right, so Kruger just runs through that time. Okay, Kruger doesn't know what to... Actually, that was actually pretty good because it put Kruger in this awkward position. And now when to see ult, we hit the... Okay, we actually hit the Lyca. Unfortunately, I'll mate yet. Yeah, see, it doesn't work. Dude, this stage is toxic. Every stage is toxic when you just suck and you don't have a smoky. <laughs> I just want a smoky. All right, let's put, uh, let's put it like this. Maybe like that we can avoid the the Leica hit. Because of the angles of the Leica, I think Cecilia avoids it. I could be wrong though. Okay, Valen takes too much damage in that formation. Dude. Dude, this is actually giving me the shits. Right, let's go back to this one. Because Valen takes too much damage like that. Uh, the, wait, he still takes too much damage like this. Uh, no, this way we're not attacking Valen straight up. He does go hit Rowan though. Okay, then he moves for the taunt. Okay, then everyone's grouped up. Okay, this this is looking better. This is looking better. Okay, Lyca smash this again. But we're we're actually doing a little bit okay here. If we get that oh dude, I feel like that's the formation. I feel like that is the formation that we need to run with. I feel like this could be an RNG play. With a bit better RNG, we might get this. Okay, Valen didn't do what he did last time, which sucks. Uh, and that's cost us, because now he's going to alter my face and he's going to kill my whole back row. Yeah, okay. Rip the dream. Dude, there's so much RNG. And this is why it's so stupid that they go, okay, you've had too many attempts, so you have a 40-minute cooldown. Dude, I just want to clear the stage and then I'll have a break, okay? <laughs> Let's try that. I feel like we will get this. Damn, I, I just want to smoke you guys. I just want to smoke you so bad. Uh, we're not getting the taunt fast enough to get the Valen roped into it. Hmm. Okay. I th I think it worked better with the other with the other artifact. Let's go this again. What is the definition of insanity? Is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. But in this game, it does give you a different result. I'm sorry. Good. Okay. That was a good taunt. Everyone's grouped up. This is good. We're going to avoid some damage. Unfortunately, Lyca is going to pop on us here. Can we get the ult? Dude, dude, it's just like that last little bit. It just goes pop, pop, and we're dead. Ah, oh, shit. All right, what if we try someone else besides Antandra? Do we, do we try you? Let's see how this goes. I mean, this ain't looking too good. Because the, the burst damage is going to come from the damage that we absorbed with Coco. Oh, oh please, like, keep attacking Carlisle. Please. No! No! We were so close, guys. All right, let's go again. I'm going to run out of attempts. Holy shit. All right, let's do this. Boom. Boom. All right, charge. Do we just do we one tap Valen here? Do we kill him before his ult? Okay, we do kill him before his ult. Ooh, we we get, we get the follow up on that. Do we get the life steal enough? Oh, dude! You guys, the next fifteen videos I make are all gonna be be me QQ on about uh, just having a massive sook about not having a smoky here because smoky just makes such a difference. I, I like I was wrapped with my reroll because I was like I'll get a smoky eventually. But honestly, the biggest mistake you can make is not rolling the smoky account. It's it's so, it's so big. <laughs> ah shit. Ah. <laughs> I'm in just such a sad state at the moment. I just want to clear the stage. I'll be back in a sec. If I hit the 40 minute cooldown, guys, we're done. Okay, we got there, guys. I ended up just just going back into my light bearer core formation, my three two. Honestly, the faction bonus probably got me across the line. But bringing Vala and stopping that Lyca is huge because the Lyca just absolutely wipes me. Um, so we ended up getting there. Nice. I'm pretty happy with that. So we we, we ended up opting out. Of, well, we kind of had a pseudo tank with Tamesia or I dude. I can't even remember that chick's name. But horse lady. Horse Lady was clutch, uh, and obviously Vala just locking. And this is this is the power of Vala. You can lock out an annoying enemy, 
and basically just avoid that whole situation of that enemy doing anything to disrupt your play. Because the problem in the previous one was one, Valen, when he hit, but when he didn't hit, Lyca would just tap us. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's keep going. And as you can see, it does actually increase my power a lot. That comp like massively boosted my power. Sorry, OBS was being silly. I had to cut for a sec. All right, let's keep going. Let's get through a few more stages and see how we go. Because we have hit that extra limit break. So where everyone's above 90. So hopefully we can push like another. And, and this is what happens. I'll sit here for three hours trying to do this stuff and maybe get like another 20 stages or something like that. I'm not going to bore you guys through that. But let's just have a quick push. See where we can get to after this. That's sweet. We're on the gimme stages, the, just the absolute free stages. Right, let's go. Yes. And this is looking pretty fine. Once again, we're on the easy stages, so you'd hope it was fine. Okay, you'd hope that we're fine on 358 as well. Let's see. Bow, be of all the king. All right, um, that's fine. Yes, we lock her out. That's good. Uh, I'm pretty cool with this formation. It's a little. It's always a little bit awkward when there's walls on a on a uh, on a battlefield. But I think we're pretty good here because we got them fairly well grouped. Unfortunately, we missed Tomesia, but uh, uh, we got Carlisle out. It should be fine. Yeah, happy days. All right, sweet. 3.59 coming up. Let's see. Uh, unfortunately, we can't target Cecilia with Vala. But I am just... Oh, and we got the, the Rider. So I'm going to do this. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Oh, no. He's targeting Rowan. You can see the targeting. Okay, that's bad. So I feel like with, with Vala, we need to kill that thing quickly so that we can retarget onto Cecilia and then we can stop Cecilia ulting because if Cecilia ults, we're kind of boned. Oh, wait, we got Cecilia anyway. We didn't even need it. That's sick. All right, happy days, happy days. All right, now here's the hard stage. 360, let's see. Let's see, how damage look. Yeah, all Cecilia, typical. All right, next one. All right, I kind of want to leave this formation. This guy's annoying with his uh, charge. I feel like we can kind of play it like this. Uh, like this, because we need Vala attacking uh, Carolina. Carolina, dude, I don't even know how to say her name. Dude, I suck it. Uh, dude, why do I suck at saying names in every game? These aren't even hard names, and I suck at them. All right, let's see how this goes. Citrana's so running up, but that's okay. We got her CC'd. We're about to get Carlisle out. Uh, I might have to move my tanks up further so that we can keep them more grouped up for when Carlisle comes out. Because uh, that's going to be my biggest issue. Okay, because if they were grouped up, I think we're actually pretty good in that situation. So let's see how this goes. So if we go you up there, you up there, you up there, you up there, you up there. That sort of keeps them... I can actually leave those guys back a bit, actually. But that leaves them a bit more grouped. Okay, I'm for, I might have to manual that so that Thorin doesn't waste his uh, ult there. And I might even put Lucius into this one. Because unfortunately... The uh, old mate's on my Cecilia and going to kill her. Because if old mate wasn't on Cecilia there, we were fine. I mean, do we... It was, it was kind of close. It's kind of close. Yeah, the problem is, if I drop this formation, I lose my faction bonus, I get absolutely stomped. Uh, what if we put Cecilia back a little bit? I think that might work. Because then she might avoid getting targeted. Okay, I, 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 if this one gets close, I'm probably going to put it on manual and adjust that Thorin. Oh, dude, he just... Old mate's so annoying. Old mate's so annoying with the Cecilia charge. Oh, shit. All right, let's go here. Um, how can I avoid the Cecilia charge? I don't think there's a way for me to do it. Actually, there is. Okay, there's a way for me to avoid the Cecilia charge, but we're going to have to play this one a very slow way. All right, so. Thorin? Uh, no, cancel. We're not going to use Thorin. We're going to wait for him to die. Okay, Rowan. Uh, we're going to do it there. Vala, Vala, we're going to plonk you here to protect Cecilia. 
And then we can go times two and put auto on. So then... Oh, dude, we just missed the group up. But... Oh, Vala didn't get to move, dude. The thing is, when you put it on one time speed manual, everything... It just doesn't work out the way, and it just feels so frustrating. All right. Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to go it again. I'm going to go one time on full auto. Just to see. Just so I can I read the situation. Once again, Thorin wasting. Rowan going forward kind of sucks. Because then Cecilia doesn't get her ult. And then when she does, she's at the back there. Okay, this one just all round failed. Oh, we actually CC'd him. Dude, and Carolina was so close to dead. Hmm... Unless we try Lucius. Because with Lucius, we can knock Old Mate back. Yeah, no, that ain't working. <laughs> that, that ain't working. Uh, piss off, Lucius. You're useless. Uh, if I change the angling on this a little bit, maybe. Sometimes angle changes, like can affect that kind of stuff. Honestly, she held them all up for a little bit longer, which allowed Thorin to do his thing, which allowed us to get boned. Didn't work. Back in a sec. I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, we got it. We, we had a little bit of a formation change where we spread the damage at the start of the battle, trying to take a little bit of heat off the Thorin at the start. You see, he still dies pretty quick, but we get old mate turkey man with four legs. I have no idea what animal he is, but the, the, the centaur guy. We got him to charge backwards, and that was the clutch play because he didn't charge my Cecilia and allowed me to do these plays. Now, I was worried with Antandra in this one that she was just going to keep dancing and delete me, uh, and you can see we got super close, but luckily that ult landed got the cc and away we go it was still pretty close it was still pretty close all right let's bounce through a few more listen i'm not gonna keep you guys too much longer but i'm having fun with this so let's uh, let's just keep going we'll leave formation as is rowan good i mean this isn't really a vala stage i'd be better off with the viperion on this stage to be honest but it, it's low power so we don't really stress we don't really stress too hard about it. Until we lose and then we cry. <laughs> Alright, sick. Job done. And for those wondering why I'm using Tomessia in this one, the horse rider chick, it's because I don't have Smokey. <laughs> Being completely honest. Uh, Alright. The Arden is going to shoot straight. Uh, I think if we go something like this, that's actually fine. Except we'll do that. Now right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I, I knew I knew I should have put Lucius there because it leaves Rowan open for attack. But I think we'll be all right with the power deficit. Yeah, Carlisle coming in clutch. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, no, that, that was pretty easy. Okay, let's let, let's stop making it like it was hard. <laughs> uh, let's go. Wow. 363, let's bring it on. All right. Uh, yeah, what do we got? You, you. Uh, yeah, we, if we hit the Lyca, that's what we ideally want to do. We want to avoid getting uh, Euron here, but I don't think there's any good way to avoid it. Oh, yes, we did make him run back, though. Except he's going to run back up and chase us again. But then is he going to run back up again? Is he going to keep following us? That is the question. We got him controlled. Okay, we, we just won that due to power deficit being small. That, that That's okay. Listen, you've just got to take whatever you can get, okay? You just got to take when you can get it. Happy days. Well, victory, is deserved. victory is well deserved. Dude, I can never remember what these characters do. I, all I know is these guys are like the Beyblades that are just super annoying and don't die. That's all I remember from this. The Beyblades, they, they ult and spin, I'm pretty sure it is. And they get super annoying. Okay. Look, look, look at the Beyblade spin. You can't let the Beyblade spin because then they delete you. It's what they do. The Beyblades just spin and delete you and don't die. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, okay. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. All right, next stage. All right, this is the last one we're going to attempt. 
Uh, unfortunately, we can't we can't get our hands on the Carolina, uh, so you're not really useful. Um, so we might run a Viperian type thing, and we might split it. Uh, I think, I think I kind of want to do this, but I, I want to make sure we're both attacking Kruger on this one. Let's see, let's see. We'll get a feel for this one pretty quick. Okay, Thorin died before he ult, which is good. Yeah, I, I think we're safe. Yeah, surely we're safe. Dude, some of these 5 slash 10 stages are super hard. And some are just easy clap like that. Dude, yeah, Viperion. Actually, I should be using my Viperion more because I got him to Legendary Plus. That that actually makes a difference. He's the only other Legendary Plus. So he's going to be a much more powerful unit. But anyway, guys, that is where we're going to leave this push. i got to go do live things. This, the whole, this video took me about two hours to make between wait times. <laughs> And stuff like that. So we're going to count it there. Don't forget to redeem the codes if you forgot about it already. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.